Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the NAC Sport Hub mobile app and see how it works. The first thing you'll find when you open the app is the team channel. This is a central meeting point for players and coaches in the app. From here, you can see posts created by your teammates and create your own posts. As you can see, this is similar to any other social network. From here, you can upload or view videos, pictures or documents. You can also react to any post that you see or leave comments on other people's posts. Create a new post using this icon in the bottom right of the screen. From here, you can choose who will see the post. You can choose to share your post with individuals, groups, or everyone on the channel. You can also choose what you want to share, be it videos, analyses, or even presentations. Press this icon to share your post. In the upper left, use this icon to go to the next section of the app. This is where you can view all your uploaded videos analyses, presentations, and documents. From the video section, you can view any video that has been shared with you. You can watch the video and see any added comments by clicking on the play icon. You can also navigate through the video as you want. The icons at the bottom have changed. From here, you can access comments that have been added to the video, and you can add a new comment if needed. The analysis of the video can be accessed here. By selecting the one you want to work with, you can, for example, open a data matrix, which allows you to filter your video clips quickly and easily. After opening a matrix, you can move between different clips by selecting the type that you want to view. You can also create new clips from the video environment. To do this, simply push the record icon and then play the video until the moment you want. Push the stop icon and your new clip will be created. You can now assign it a name and add a description. Select add clip to save it. Once recorded, you can add it to your clips list. You can create as many clips as you want. Press this icon to access the entire list of clips. When selected, you can send it to your own list of clips to save it for the future. You might also want to create a post using this clip. and share it with your teammates. Let's go back and look at the analysis section. From here, you can access the analysis of any video. Select any analysis to open the clip filter tool or the data matrix. By selecting multiple analyses, you'll see the combined data from all the videos. In the presentation section, you can see all the presentations that have been shared with you. The advantage here is that you can directly access any clip by simply pressing it without leaving the presentation structure.
Press this icon to see any comments which have been added to the clip. From the top right, you can see all the different descriptors that have been added to the clip. Use this icon to return to the presentation list. This allows you to navigate between any presentations that have been shared with you. Finally, in the Documents section, you can access documents that have been shared with you, such as PDF or Excel files.